So this past weekend, I went on a first date. And you know, when you go on first dates, you don't really want to run out of things to talk about. But at one point on this date, it kind of got really silent. And the guy I was with, he like pulled down his collar all of a sudden and showed me one of the most horrendous tan lines I have ever seen. He was literally super dark up here and super white on his chest. And he said to me, and it kind of stuck to me because I can quote it, he said, I really should start wearing sunblock, but I don't want to smell beachy all the time. And I, it really got me thinking. I wear sunblock every day, but I don't really know exactly why it's so important to wear sunblock. So today, I want to urge you all to wear sunblock because I did my research, and it's actually really important. Um, I'm going to talk about what uh, sunblock is or what an SPF is. And um, I'm going to talk about a controversy surrounding sunblock. Yes, there is controversy over sunblock. And I'm going to talk about what it protects against and how accessible and easy it is to actually get. So according to health.com, SPF is sun protection factor, which is basically when you wear sunblock or any SPF product, you're putting basically armor on yourself to protect you from the sun. And what it is is whatever number you find under that SPF on whatever bottle you have of whatever it is you're using, it's going to protect you from the sun um, that much. So basically an example would be if you're like me and you don't really burn, it takes me probably an hour of direct sunlight to be burned, um, and I'm using an SPF bottle of 15, it'll protect me from the sun for 15 hours. So that's actually a lot of protection, but if you're a person who gets burned in 15 minutes uh, and you're using something with an SPF of 15, then you'll be protected for 225 minutes. But basically, I would rather get burned, I don't know, 225 minutes later than within that first 15 minutes of direct sunlight. Um, now that I talked to you, or told you basically what an SPF is, I'm gonna talk about the controversy surrounding it, which is a lot of people don't like using it just because of whatever reason, and they try to, I think, make excuses for not using it. So one thing that um, researchers have said that not to use sunblock is they're scared that they're not going to get enough vitamin D, which is something that you need every day. But wearing sunblock isn't going to block you from not getting the sufficient amount of vitamin D every day. You can get, or anyone with a normal diet is going to be getting the right amount of vitamin D. Um, vitamin D is in fish, it's in milk, it's in any dairy product, it's in eggs. So if you eat any of those things, you're going to be getting enough vitamin D. And if you don't eat any of those things, they sell vitamin D pills at the store, like 100 for $5. It's really not costly. So there's really no excuse for you not to wear sunblock every day. Um, so Time Magazine wrote an article. And in this article, they talked about uh, research done with 900 people. Um, every day, they wore sunblock. And of those 900 people, everyone who used it on a regular basis they were less likely to age by four and a half years, meaning their skin showed less brown spots, less wrinkles, less like aging spots, less blotchiness, red, red veins. So basically they just looked a lot younger than they really were. And for the people who were already sun damaged, or their skin was already sun damaged, when they used sunblock continuously every day, it showed that they kind of stepped into like a time machine and they aged backwards a little bit. So sunblock can help you with um, just how you look, basically. It's going to help you from any physical, like if you don't like how your skin is, you know, it can help you age less. And not only does it help you with physical stuff, but it's also going to help you on the inside too. Because according to the American Cancer Society, um, most causes of skin cancer are direct exposure to sunlight. And the American Foundation for Cancer says that Five million people are treated for some sort of skin cancer every year. Um, whether it's small or big, no one really wants skin cancer at all. So um, this wearing sunblock or something with SPF in it is going to create this armor, and it's going to stop UV rays from penetrating your skin and um, basically activating any cells that are going to cause this type of skin cancer. And now that I've talked to you about how or how what it protects you from and how Basically, just this small thing you do every day when you're getting ready to go to school or go to work, you just put it on, it's really quick, it takes you less than a minute. I'm going to talk about how accessible it is. Um, a lot of people are maybe too lazy, or they say, you know, like the guy I went on a date with, it smells too beachy. Um, there's a lot of products out there that just like regular lotion, just anything you buy for your skin is going to have a counterpart that has SPF in it. So it's going to cost the same, it's just that it's better for you, so why not buy the product that's better for you? Um, honestly, I know for me, before, I didn't really like to wear sunblock because it ruined the look of my makeup, 
but any, any makeup product you buy now is gonna have SPF in it. So my foundation, my primer, I don't know if you guys know, guys know this, but girls, I'm sure you know, foundation, primer, powder, everything I wear, it has SPF in it. And I always choose the one with SPF over the one that doesn't because you know, it's really important to keep your skin healthy and so that you don't have all these um, aging signs. So today I talked about what an SPF is, what it protects you from, uh, why people, I hope I kind of put down why people don't really wear it, but you should because of the vitamin D thing, and then also how accessible it is to find anywhere really, just go to Walmart or Target. Um, so I hope that you all think that wearing sunblock is important because it is. <laughs> Um, at first, I wasn't sure what you were going to talk about, but then once you said something about like, tan lines, I was like, okay, it must be sunblock, right? And then that kind of caught my attention because I personally don't use sunblock, even though I should be using sunblock. <laughs> um, uh, you had pretty good eye contact. Your hand motions were a little bit distracting, but it wasn't too much, so I was still able to focus on what you were saying. Your voice was, your voice was pretty loud and clear, so which is really good because this class isn't like uh, this class is like a little bit big so it gets a little hard to um, project out to everyone um, you're, you you kind of set out an outline which I kind of like so I can follow with what you were saying um, I overall pretty much liked it and maybe I might start using some more because I know some of the effects that it has on <laughs> to your body, so yeah, thanks for informing us and trying to persuade me. Sunblock, I wonder what that could prevent. <laughs> <laughs>